For more analysis on the latest jobs report, we're joined by Kate Duchesne, uh, RGP CEO. Kate, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. When we look at this report, it was cooler than expected when we think about kind of the, the number, the overall number, 150,000. There was still growth in the job market. So it seems that the job market is still holding up, relatively speaking. Uh, what does this point out to you when you think about the trends that we're seeing within the job market? Right. Well, good afternoon and thanks for having me today. I mean, we are, these numbers do show that the labor market conditions are starting to stabilize, but we still see in certain sectors, we're a consulting company working in business services, that there are still skills gaps out there and there are still um, gaps that companies are struggling to fill. Kate, um as I understand it, your, your firm really focuses on finance, healthcare, and tech sectors. So I'm interested just to drill down in, into those sectors. What are you seeing there in terms of hiring trends? Yeah, what we're seeing again is that those sectors still have big transformation projects. We recently commit, uh, completed some external research, and on average, these clients in finance, healthcare, tech, manufacturing have on average 20 transformation projects. A lot of them focused on digitization efforts or technology transformation, and they still don't have enough of the right skills in their own environment to complete the work uh, on their agendas. So what we're seeing is, is a phenomenon we call the dynamic workforce, where companies are relying on both their own full-time equivalent workers, but also turning to outside talent to fill the gap. Kate, when you say transformation project, what, is, what does that mean exactly? Can you give some examples of that? Sure, uh, digitization is one. You know, they're bringing in new tools to ensure that uh, knowledge um, access happens in their organizations. Think about how um, people are working today. Lots of companies are still hybrid, for example, and so access to information has to happen in a more digital form than ever um, because people are distributed, um, perhaps in the United States, but also around the globe and need access quickly and efficiently to the information they need to do their jobs. So we see digitization as a big um, effort. Finance transformation, as every company is trying to bring more automation um, get data ready for AI initiatives, et cetera. So, you know, it's just continuing. We live in a very disrupted world with companies fighting um, competition every day. And so everybody's continuing to try both and improve their customer experience, but also the efficiency throughout their value chain. So, uh, Kate, there's a few things that uh, stood out to me in what you just said, a few words. You talked about digitization. Uh, you talked about uh, AI, of course, and disruption. So when we think about AI and jobs, uh, there's been all this talk about, is it a jobs creator or a jobs destroyer? From your purview, what is your expectation for where the job market will go, especially as we finish out the balance of this year, when you think about the influence of AI and where companies are coming from? Okay, so most companies are not ready for AI. And I say that because their processes aren't standardized and their data is not in a clean shape. It's either not governed correctly and it's not clean. And until you have standardized process and clean data, you can't really move to AI in a meaningful way. So I think AI may disrupt us down the road, but it's not gonna disrupt the labor market um, materially today because there's too much readiness work that has to happen in, in organizations. And Kate, last question here on, on the subject of, of remote work. I'm just curious, Kate, when you're talking to your clients, is that are companies still as open to remote work or are they pulling back there? Uh, I think we give a lot of talk to pulling back into the office, but we're not seeing it. And what what we are seeing in our client base, and we work with some of the largest brands, global brands in the world, is that talent is still in the driver's seat and talent is willing to say no. And that, that talent is still a big issue in the C-suite. And uh, I think we're still seeing that our clients are committed to hybrid. 
we are seeing a little bit more in the office and I think people are craving more interaction, but it's not full time and it's certainly not the way we used to work pre pandemic. All right, we'll have to bookmark our conversation. Our thanks to Kate Duchesne, RGP CEO. Thank you. Thank you.